So I'm going to read you um, 1 Corinthians 11.32. Now, remember, this, these three verses show us three major facts concerning the world according to the Bible. It says this, But being judged by the Lord, we are disciplined that we may not be condemned with the world. What this verse shows us is that the world is condemned in the eyes of God. The world is condemned. And the destiny of the world is, is condemnation. It, it's, the world will, will fall away. You know, I'm sure everyone in this room has heard of the Titanic. Now, the Titanic at its time was, it was the largest most sophisticated, um, most luxurious ocean liner of its time. And tickets for the Titanic were very pricey. And stars, I mean, the, the most elite wanted to get on that, on that ocean liner. And you would pay a high price to get on it because it just looked so wonderful. Little did they know it was going to hit an iceberg and go down. If they knew, if they could look back and, and, and realize what was going to happen, they wouldn't have been so quick to get on that boat. We realize the world is condemned. We realize the world is going down. We realize the world has been judged by God. Now, how should our view be concerning getting on that boat? Getting on that boat. We need to realize that the world is going down. And so, this is the first thing we need to realize concerning the world. That it is condemned. Now, how about we all read 1 John 5.19 together. Go. We know that we are of God. And the whole world lies in the evil one. I think all of us, as those who love the Lord, are endeavoring to love the Lord. You know, we don't like Satan. We, do, we don't like Satan. We realize that we were a sinful person. And that's why we needed to be saved. We're sinful. We were, we're sinful because of Satan. Do you know Satan hates mankind? This is why there are, there's, there's mental and physical diseases. This is why there's drugs. This is why there's so many things that happen on this earth. It's because Satan hates man. Because he knows God made us for his purpose. And he hates us. But look, the whole world lies in the evil one. We need to realize that the world lies in the evil one. So first, the world is condemned. Second, the world lies in the evil one. The whole world, good and bad, beautiful and ugly, lies in the evil one. Okay, and then James 4.4 4 says, Adulteresses, do you not know that friendship of the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever determines to be a friend of the world is constituted an enemy of God. And so, here we see not only is the world condemned in the eyes of God, not only does the world lie in the, in the hands of the evil one, but friendship with the world is enmity with God. That means if we're friends with the world, we're constituted an enemy of God. An enemy of God. So it's very important to see this background. To see the negative side of what the world is. And how the world is viewed in the eyes of God. <laughs>